Hey guys, Gabe here today, and today we'll be playing with um, Type 88 LMG, and I haven't played with this gun in quite a while. Also, as well as the stubby grip and tactical flashlight, which will blind your enemies at close range. So it looks pretty solid, and the suppressor, I put it on because I genuinely like suppressors more than compensators due to the fact that it won't have that much impact on your accuracy as much as bullet velocity but this is a hard hitter and 700 rounds per second I mean you can't really go wrong and we'll be accompanied by the compact 45 let me see how this goes and I don't know this gun's pretty good like <laughs> like right now I'm gonna see how many kills I can get without dying okay there goes our first kill the good thing about having um, a suppressor in this weapon is the fact that not only does it hide yourself on the minimap and away from your enemies, but at the same time, but at the same time gives you gives you that extra leverage for accuracy. And like right here, like I just like taking out groups of enemies without them knowing, you know, who it is, who's around, whatever. Also, this for an LMG, this does fire pretty fast. I don't really like the um, if it goes over 700, and the reason for that is that it's kind of hard to control, as well as the clip size will run out quite a bit faster than a regular LMG. But for this gun, it's pretty good for its class, and I recommend it for medium, long, and close range. Especially close range. But the fact is, too, unlocking attachments will, play, will take quite a bit longer than usual, because for some reason they make the attachments more kills, I guess, required to unlock them. But at the same time, it's a pretty good weapon, like I keep saying. It's really good. Alright. I can't really seem to find anyone right now. It's kind of weird. But mostly on Zappa, there's like for some reason kind of where like there'll be moments like I've gone for like a whole minute. I've gone for a whole minute without even finding anyone, which is quite ridiculous, but it's kind of funny as well. You see all these people, all my friends right here, whatever. One thing too is like I, I don't know, around Christmas, I really want to make more videos. Like I know I rarely upload them. Like yesterday was really crappy video. I just can't believe I even uploaded that. Just I wasn't into it. I didn't, didn't want to really comment yesterday. It wasn't really good. But today's like a game changer. I woke up at five this morning. Decided to play real quick. Make another video. And one thing is too like I just can keep playing this game. And for some reason I was hearing some talk saying, "Oh, Battlefield's getting boring, whatever." And at the same time, I really don't think so. But anyway, back to this weapon review. Another thing is too, or another factor is that this weapon will take quite a bit long to, I guess, reload. Because it is 200 rounds, and that's one edge on this weapon. It's going to take you a while before you run out. So you probably run around without even reducing your time of killing any enemies, which is a good thing. And not really a bad thing as well. Let's see. Damn, he ran away. Let's go get him. Come on. Where the hell did he go? It's kind of weird how sometimes they just run away. Alright. No. Where did he go? Okay, I don't know where that guy went. He just like disappeared, I guess you can say. Oh man, I haven't died either. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed that. I just haven't died yet. Probably will right now, jinx myself, but... Other than that, this weapon's pretty solid, and the Compact 45, I'm not really having to use it right now because, like I said, this gun has such a large clip, 200 rounds, so no need to really pull that out anytime soon, but the Compact 45 is really a fast-firing handgun, and for some reason, I find it, it's more sensitive on the trigger when you pull it back, but an another good thing, too, is that it has a very large clip as well. And with the suppressor, I mean, you're pretty good to go. Let's see. Okay, this guy just came down. Got him, too. Yeah, I'm just getting quite quite a good amount of kills right now. It's, that's pretty good. Let's see. Okay, again, I can't seem to find anyone. That's the only thing I hate about Team Deathmatch sometimes. Okay, looks like he got me. It's just sometimes I can't really seem to find any enemies. Like, I'll be running for a very long time. Even towards where I see action and... For the most part, my teammates have already got them, most likely. Let's see. Also, I may want to attach a view, or you may want to attach the 4x scope. And the reason why I say this is that 
if you can get people at a pretty long range with this weapon, if you know how to burst fire it right, you're more than like good to go, but at the same time, like right here, that guy was pretty far away and I was able to get him, but it was kind of hard due to, due to me that I was using the ROS close range sight. Which is not a problem, it's pretty good, but having that suppressor will add the, the extra accuracy as opposed to a compensator. But for me, the compensators just are not that great because I just feel they're not there with the weapon. They do make it worse if you're trying to get someone at a longer range due to the fact that they make your bullets spread. And what I mean by this is that if you're trying to get someone far away, it will keep them straight and make it easier to, how, how would I say this, control the weapon. But if you're trying to get someone that's pretty far, it's just not that great, which is why I like suppressors because... Surprisingly enough, they do not dumb down the accuracy. They do make it harder to control it due to the recoil, but that's a better trade-off for recoil over accuracy, which is pretty pretty good. Let me see. We're trying to. I'm trying to go around and find more people to kill. Let me see. This guy, my team just revived me. That's pretty cool. Again, the reloading time in this weapon is just so amazingly like. It's pretty fast, actually. For 200 rounds, it's like a, maybe a 2 second reload time, which isn't really that bad. I mean, I'm pretty sure in real life it'll take like a couple minutes maybe, but... Anyway, this weapon's really good, and I've enjoyed playing, this we playing with this weapon. I may use it just regularly, but... How the hell did that guy just, just get me in like one shot? Okay, that's pretty weird, but... Anyway, this weapon's pretty good, and I do like the fact that it is easier to handle than most LMGs. And that is because due to the fact that it does have a low farming rate. And it's just easy to handle, which makes it really cool. And also right here, like, I have a compensator. There's, like, multiple guys right here. If I had my suppressor, it would be easier to aim, but the compensator makes it easier to handle but if it's they're kind of far away it's not that great but for close quarters you can see i was able to get that guy without even aiming because i know it's pretty easy with compensator but i think in my opinion each attachment has a trade-off and i'll probably be okay he just threw a grenade ah oh, shit i don't want him to get me Let's see I need some more people Oh wow, I didn't even see this guy until he just pops up. It's pretty weird. Okay, but anyway, sorry for the slight pause. The thing is about, um, I've noticed, and this is something off topic, like, my commentaries, I'm, I'm actually, oh wait, this guy's coming. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm more comfortable doing them as opposed to when I first started my channel, I was just... I even I did not even know how to comment. I was just like holy crap. But now I find it easier and I thank you guys for watching my videos, viewing them. As well as for my subscribers. I'm almost about to hit a thousand which is which was my goal, but thanks. Just letting you guys know without you guys this channel wouldn't really be where it is. Just thought I'd put that out there. And I will try to get better on my videos over time. That's pretty much it for today. That's pretty much it for today guys, this weapon's really awesome. I really recommend this using this weapon with the attachments that I, I put on it. And I'm here to help you guys and dig out weapons, the good things and bad things about them. That's pretty much it. Gave out. Later.